Hey, good morning, guys. Literally, this is a first of its kind legislation that is pushing for these federal resources for extreme heat emergencies, especially, you know, we are coming ahead of those really deadly hot summer temperatures and bouncing off of a year where over 400 people died from heat related deaths in Maricopa County alone. So they felt that this was the time to push this initiative. And so that's why we're joined by uh, Mayor Kate Gallego and Representative Gallego this morning to talk about, you know, again, this is a first of its kind. And you made it a big point to say that Phoenix is the first city to have the resources and responsiveness towards these heat emergencies. So why was it so important for Phoenix uh, to be a part of this initiative? Heat is a growing challenge for us. That's why we have a whole office at the city focused on it. We know that we can do even more if the federal government partners with us, and that's why I've been calling for several months for heat to be a federally declared disaster. We lose more Americans to heat than most other disasters combined. And I'm grateful to Congressman Gallego for introducing legislation to make that important change. It will save Arizona lives. Yeah, and Congressman, I know um, obviously you have introduced this uh, to, you're going to introduce this to DC. It's, and introduced, yeah. it's already introduced, yeah. great. And then so uh, I just wanted to ask you, you know, this is on the cuff of like East Coast, you know, they're seeing awful wildfires and the repercussions of that. Yep. So why is this so timely for Arizona to be on the forefront of this initiative? Well, if you look at it, uh, the East Coast is going to be able to declare a disaster from all those uh, forest fires and the effects of it. If you know, and if 400 people died there, they're going to be able to draw down those funds. If 400 people die here from extreme heat, the mayor will not be able to ask the federal government for any funds and any help. We have the same problem, but because the federal government is antiquated the way they think about disasters, we don't get that help, even though it's your taxpayer dollar. So this law is intended to basically give more parity, more equality, so that we could actually have a disaster, declared disaster. And responsible mayors like Mayor Gallego can use that money to house people, to fix the situation, and also to not affect their bottom line. So for an example, um, I just wanted to ask, you know, if this is added to FEMA's list, can you kind of give us a brief of just what kind of resources would then be available to maybe underserved communities yeah. in these circumstances? Well, it would give power to essentially the governor and people like the mayor to actually call the uh, FEMA for essentially just funds, right? And so mayors know best what to do to protect their area. So for example, if they had to set up cooling centers, uh, they would actually ask the federal government to pay for those cooling centers. So that way, again, it doesn't come out of the, ta the city of Phoenix taxpayer money. Congressman Mayor, thank you so much. You. So obviously, again, this is a first of its kind, you know, initiative for such, such big problem here in Arizona. And so we're going to continue following this legislation as he now starts to garner support in D.C. for this. And I'm sure on Arizona, to update you when it does.